What exactly is Silicon Alley? Have you heard the term thrown around before, but unsure of what it actually means? By the end of this video, you'll know the history of New York Silicon Alley and what exactly this podcast is all about. I'm William Glass, CEO and co-founder of Ostrich, and of course, host of the Silicon Alley podcast. Go ahead and pound that subscribe button down below for more episodes on tech, entrepreneurship, and finance. You got no time to waste, but still you hesitate. Caught in so the term Silicon Alley refers to an area of southern Manhattan around the Flatiron District in Madison Square Park. So if you're watching the video and you look behind me, you'll actually see the building here. It's the one that's shaped like a triangle. That's the Flatiron Bird building. And the term Silicon Alley actually emerged in the late 1990s during the dot-com boom as a marketing ploy to attract talent to New York over San Francisco, Silicon Valley. Jason Denmark, a talent recruiter, was competing viciously with Silicon Valley, and uh, he's the one that's credited for first using the term Silicon Alley and memorializing it in his job postings and candidate outreach. The Flatiron District, two Union Square, um, had a very high concentration of tech companies and tech startups in the city, and as the dot-com bubble grew and startups with dot-com at the end of their name grew to ridiculously high valuations, some with no business models in sight, um, the alley grew along with it into other parts of New York City. And then in 2001, the dot-com bubble began to burst. From that point on, the term Silicon Alley began to kind of drop off as a moniker as many of those tech startups and new media companies that were in the alley went out of business. And so now today in New York City, tech startups are all over the five boroughs and even beyond. The founding members of the New York tech scene though, such as Fred Wilson, Jerry Colonna, who co-founded the VC firm Flatiron Partners, are so prominently associated with this original silly Silicon Alley term. It kind of harkens back to the early days, the wild, wild west, when people weren't sure if the tech, New York tech scene would grow into anything. And so with that context for what Silicon Alley is, I first came to hear the term when I moved up to New York City and worked for an artificial intelligence startup called Remesh. Um, we were based just off of Madison Square Park, so had a view diagonally across from the Flatiron building. And I grew to love Silicon Alley, the term, the people, the startup community that still actually is situated within that area of the city. Um, but beyond the pawn and ode to Silicon Valley, the term Silicon Alley reminds me of that kind of underdog mentality when you think back to when it was early, first started. Uh, you know, born and raised in Alabama, I've always liked that sort of dirt road underdog mentality where people kind of tend to count you out before you've even started. I've had to experience that my whole life. And so that feeling and visual of the alleyway filled with these promising companies led by, you know, the other guys and gals that uh, are on this mission to change the world, but people doubt them just kind of really resonates with me. And so as a non-technical fintech founder building a company that aims to upend the financial system, improve global financial well-being, and ultimately change the way that financial literacy and education is taught, not just in the US, but globally, um, kind of embody that underdog mentality. And so what the Silicon Alley podcast represents are those entrepreneurs, investors, top performers who've overcome obstacles, embodied that pull yourself up to go do great things. Um, and so I help tell those stories and share their unique insights on this platform. And in tandem with those interviews, you'll hear more episodes that dive deep into key topics across business, tech, and finance. The aim is to bring even greater value and to expand on those stories from the, from the incredibly talented guests by providing deeper dives into the tactics and strategies that they've used to build successful businesses. So, so what Silicon Alley is is a platform to listen and watch those stories of doers while also learning how they did it and how you can implement it in your own life and business. So. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the Silicon Alley podcast so you get notified when episodes air. I'm William Glass, CEO and co-founder of Ostrich. Talk to you soon. You got no time to waste, but still you hesitate. Caught in a circle.